Supreme Court Justice Alito is facing backlash over the revelations that an upside-down American flag flew outside of his home in the days surrounding January 6, 2021, the day of the Capitol riot. Now, his critics contend that the upside-down flag is an icon of support for those who falsely claimed President Trump won the 2020 election. The New York Times first reported the story last week after it obtained a photograph of the inverted flag on Alito's residence in Alexandria, Virginia. According to The Hill, Alito has denied having anything to do with it. Instead, threw his wife under the bus, saying she hung it amid a spat with neighbors. Per CNN, the Alito's neighbors had posted profane signs like F Trump near a school bus stop, and one neighbor called her a see you next Tuesday, to use a phrasing <laughs> Brianna taught me. So Mrs. Alito responded by flying the inverted flag. Mm. Democrats aren't buying it, however. Many are furious at Alito, one of the Supreme Court's leading conservatives, and are calling his impartiality into question. Furthermore, many are demanding that he recuse himself from any case related to January 6. The Supreme Court is set to rule on a pair of key decisions in the coming weeks related to the Capitol riot. Senate Judiciary Committee Chair Dick Durbin criticized Alito, but he told reporters there are no plans to investigate the matter. Elsewhere on X, other Democrats were equally irate. Congressman Jamie Raskin posted, quote, Justice Alito turned the flag upside down. Donald Trump turned the Bible upside down. MAGA turned the Capitol upside down. The Roberts Court turned the Constitution upside down. Let's set America right side up in November. Actor Mark Ruffalo said, quote, it's time for a massive overhaul. It's become what amounts to a politically corrupt trap house for conservative crooks and ideologues on the take. Hashtag reform Supreme Court. President Obama's former senior advisor posted, quote, Alito flying a flag to support the insurrection while making decisions about the election is why so many Americans have lost trust in the court. It's also an opportunity to reunite the anti-MAGA coalition. Stephen Colbert got in on it, too. Let's take a look. This weekend, we found out that in January of 2021, just days after the Capitol riot, an upside-down U.S. flag flew at the home of Justice Samuel Alito. And that, and that is significant because at that time, the upside-down flag had become a symbol of the Stop the Steal movement. Even worse, all of Alito's garden gnomes were fully QAnon. Now, the Washington Post's Megan McArdle seemed skeptical that the symbol means anything. She posted, quote, I think flying the flag upside down showed disrespect and horrendous judgment, but I admit the current news cycle was also the first time I had heard that it was a MAGA signal. Yes, Megan is a friend of mine, and I am very much in her camp here. Uh, I did not know that that specifically meant you were with Stop the Steal. Um, I suspect the Alitos didn't either. Um, Why do you suspect that? I, they, maybe it, they just meant it that, oh, the republic is woe to the republic now that Donald Trump has not been reelected. You right, but that's the that problem, way. right? So well, the, but that's different than thinking the election was invalid and should be opposed or something no, of that No, it's nature. not really that different when you're a Supreme Court justice, and that's the problem. So the New York Times published this article today Say, uh, uh, called how election deniers claim the upside down flag. And the point that they make is that yes, the upside down flag has meant many things over the years to many people, uh, but that it has always been a symbol of a nation in distress. That sailors used to fly an upside down flag to show that they were being boarded or that their ship was sinking and that they needed help. Um, that there was a viral image during the 2020 pro uh, George Floyd protests in which a someone carrying a flag I don't know if it was purposefully or accidentally upside down, but passed um, a fire, uh, went viral just because of the sort of iconography of, of it. And it says, uh, and the last section of the article explains when it became allegedly a symbol of the Stop the Steal mo uh, movement, um, saying that, uh, in interviewing a so-called expert, and you can take that with a grain of salt, who says that it's a common mag a MAGA symbol, symbol now and emerged as such uh, during uh the early 2021, late uh, 2020 period. But I think here's the main point. Regardless of whether you think it's a specifically an insurrectionist th symbol, flying a flag right after there was, in fact, these riots on January 6th at the Capitol because a large group of people believe that Donald Trump uh, was the rightful winner of that election, and you're a Supreme Court justice who is now tasked 
with deciding uh, uh, issues related to that case and the legality around Trump's behavior back in 2021 and the end of 2020, saying that you think that, that the election is, uh, that the country is in trouble, even if that's all the flag, upside down flag means, means that you are frankly impartial and you should recuse yourself. And this comes on the heels after scandal after well, scandal involving Clarence Thomas um, and his uh, kind of play for play that has been alleged about his relationship with various figures that have come before him on the court. And so this is, I think that's right. That is why there's a lapse of confidence okay, in the institution. Well, well, okay, well, fine. I mean, there, there are clearly, if impartial means don't have political preferences or don't, that, that, that none of them are impartial. All members of the Supreme Court have clear Polit they, clear preferences for who they want to be president. I'm saying, I think there is, no, there's a significant difference between um, preferring Donald Trump to still be the president and thinking that he actually did win the election. And that that's what, the, in the same way that there were, I just looked for and I found it very quickly, Salon, an act of true patriotism, fly the American flag upside down this 4th of July. This is from 2017 to protest Donald Trump winning the election over Hillary Clinton. Not to say that the election was illegitimately won by Donald Trump, right, although they probably all believe that as well, but to say that we dislike this political outcome. I don't and think that's, that's a gotcha. I just referenced a Black Lives Matter protester flying the flag upside down in 2020. Right. Yes, like I said, and like the New York Times article says, it means a lot of things to a lot of things, a lot, a lot of people. But what it always means, it seems, throughout the whole history of hundreds of years that they walk through in this article, is that there's a dis there's distress. And a Supreme Court justice this isn't some random person flying a flag how they want to at their barbecue on the 4th of July. You can make a flag into a bikini, make a flag into boxer shorts, burn the flag. That's yeah. your constitutional right. I don't care about any of that. <laughs> Until the, the, question the, is, the Supreme Court has litigated that. Well, the, that, yeah. the question is whether or not a Supreme Court justice, a, a Supreme Court that has made the decision as to who won, has won an election, remember the year 2000, mm -hmm. should be at days after there was an actual whatever you want to characterize it, right at the Capitol, insurrection attempt, I don't really care what you characterize it, we all know what happened, on January 6th, to fly a flag that seems to suggest that you think that the nation is trouble. Like, the, that, is, that is a problem. That is a huge optics problem. Supreme Court justices are held to a higher standard, and they cannot be telegraphing anything that even insinuates that they think that the election wasn't fairly won when there is no evidence for that, especially if you are going to be presiding over cases where you're supposed to be, decide, supposed to be weighing in on whether or not you think Trump's behavior in trying to steal the election was, in fact, well, illegal. Oh, but then I go back... Well, I go back to Megan's tweet. I, I agree that it did not show good judgment to do that. So I, I agree with you on that. I don't know and have no basis to believe that it necessarily is him telegraphing that he thinks Joe Biden was not the legitimate winner of the election. He might hold that belief, but it, there, there's the, I, the media's recent trying to tell us that that's what that, that flag, that, that symbol means that and only that is not is not accurate. It has, as you've acknowledged, it's meant a lot of different things to a lot of different people. It has just been used as a general protest about the state of the country, expressing a, a, a dissatisfaction about the way things are. It does not significantly mean I don't accept the outcome but it, of the it election. It just doesn't have to mean that and only that. The same way that a blue line, well, that's what they're a saying. blue line matter flag. No, the fact that it quite obviously means that to a lot of people means you should have a lot more discretion as a Supreme Court justice. That's all that needs to be argued. That's all that needs to be said for this to be condemnatory behavior on the part of Alito. Just right. like, if they were but wait just a saying, If they were just saying, yes, and if they are just saying it was not appropriate for him to do that and he shouldn't have done that, I agree with that. It was just not like, appropriate. I can they're just, saying it shows that he's with the Stop the Steal movement. It shows that he has bad judgment to telegraph a message that to many people means I'm with the Stop the Steal movement. If you're not, then it's almost worse. You're even more more ignorant and more negligent. So just like I could hypothetically just love the cops. Uh, my child is a cop. My husband is a cop. My sister is a cop. And that's why I have a blue line matter flag on my car. Okay, well, sure, maybe. But also we know that certain symbols have been associated with more conservative politics, including a blue line matters, lives matter flag, including the way the Punisher symbol has been uh, associated with uh, police and more kind of conservative authoritarianism. We can act like we're all ignorant and live in a vacuum and don't think that symbols have meaning, but let's just be honest about what's going on. And I, and I gotta say, even Lindsey Graham is out here being kind of honest and transparent about what's going on here. He chastised Samuel Alito over the upside down flag saying, quote, emotions are apparently high in that neighborhood, but no, it's not good judgment to do that. 
I don't know what role. He said his wife was insulted and got mad. I assume that to be true. But he's still a Supreme Court justice. And, you know, people have to realize that moments like that to think it through. That's the point, that you are in a role where you are supposed to telegraph. Everybody has opinions. Everybody has biases. We all know that we're not ignorant. We all know about the process of what it means for a president of a certain political uh, background to appoint a SCOTUS that uh, is going to carry out their own personal politics. But you're supposed to to hold up at the very least the veneer of impartiality and not days after there was an attempt to overturn the election, fly, fly a flag that seems to corroborate that you also think that the nation is in trouble, just like so many people who rioted at the Capitol on, on, on 1-6. Yeah, I, I, look, I don't... I, don't disagree with Lindsey Graham in terms of it was bad judgment. I think, going back to your example of the Black Lives Matter, or, uh, Blue Lives Matter example, I, I think that has a more specific and just obvious contact. It, like, it, it, has, it has a narrower range of what it means than the upside down flag. But well, What's interesting also is that Alito isn't more. denying the sim symbolism of the flag. He simply said, it's my wife that did it. And I think that's a pretty significant tell as well. And all of that being said, I, I would ask you, do you think it's appropriate for Alito to be participating in judgments about January 6th and Donald Trump's and the argument that Donald Trump was trying to overthrow the election? This would not change my mind in that matter. You don't all, think that no. he should recuse himself? Not because And of do you think no. that if you saw a um, one of the liberal justices, um, let's say that they had a diary that got out that said, um, I think Donald Trump. Uh, I think that Donald Trump is criminal, no matter what he does, um, and I think that he should be locked up and thrown in jail. That they should recuse themselves from a case like this. I, I, that's a hypoth. I don't know. Probably not. Uh, All right. Well, it's something to worth uh, worth thinking about as we're deciding how we feel about this particular scenario. And I do think, again, it's interesting that even Alito doesn't deny what the flag is supposed to mean or hasn't done so so far. More rising coming up next.